What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream 6 in this video because Scream 6 has officially been confirmed. It is announced it is going to start filming or it's slated expected to start filming later this summer. So sometime this year around June I guess hopefully maybe a little bit earlier and I would expect it to be out sometime early 2023 or October 2023 at the latest. So we have James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick back to pin the script. Radio Silence is back to, at the helm to direct Matt and Tyler, uh, who we know brought us Ready or Not and just recently now Screen 5. Kevin Williamson expected to executive produce along with Chad Villela, who is also part of Radio Silence and some other people from Project X and Spyglass Media. So the creative team that was present is back. And some comments have come out. So one of the comments that came out is from Radio Silence, who said, working with such a wonderful and talented family of creators and in the lineage of Wes and Kevin so expertly built has been the thrill of a lifetime. And we're so excited to bring the next chapter in the Scream saga to life. This again came from Radio Silence. They did a tremendous job with Scream 5. So I can't wait to see what they bring to the table in Scream 6. Some other comment we got is from, was, was from Vanderbilt and Busick themselves, who said, is this real life? Getting to collaborate once again with our friends on the next installment of the Scream story is more than we could have hoped for. We are overwhelmed that we get to continue to play in the sandbox that Kevin and Wes created. It is, as Ghostface would say, an honor. So the fact that we have, again, friends who are so passionate about this franchise, again, getting to come back to the town of Woodsboro, hopefully. I want them to go outside of Woodsboro, but if it's back in Woodsboro, you know, so be it. The fact that there's so much passion involved is is really exciting for all of us because we're fans as well so another statement coming from spyglass and paramount it said we are tremendously grateful to the fans around the world who enthusiastically received our film we can't wait for audience to see what radio silence writers jame and guy and project x have in store for the woodsboro family so that again it was a joint statement from spyglass and paramount so again the fact that we have so many people who are passionate about scream working on screen projects is so exciting and just hypes you up as a fan even more so because they're within the industry they're fans of what they're actually getting to work on in said industry and then again this is basically an, uh, going to be another movie by the fans for the fans official fan fiction but uh, actually a part of the official canon <laughs> so it's just really exciting that these guys get to come back to Woodsboro if if indeed Scream 6 ends up being in Woodsboro it's nice to know that Kevin Williamson will be back to executive produce uh as far as like everyone i know i've seen some doubts about you know why are they filming it so fast this seems kind of rushed we have to remember scream 5 was expected to come out in 2021 so between when filming wrapped in 2020 to now that was a good amount of time for guy and jamie to already prep out a treatment maybe even write up a full-fledged script they don't have to have it finished yet but maybe they're finishing it right now as we speak and they just have been working on it in hopes that again they would be brought back on if they were to get a scream six made or maybe there's some things that have been told to them that we weren't aware of until now because like this could have been this could have been the plan all along this lines up with all the little breadcrumbs they've been leaving throughout a lot of the post screen five release interviews that we have gotten we've gotten um interest from melissa barrera or we've gotten stuff from melissa barrera expecting interest in returning we've gotten stuff from nev expecting interest in returning speaking for interest in how the other two legacy characters probably would like to be back david and courtney we know that we will have we can expect Jenna Ortega, Melissa Barrera, Jasmine Floyd Brown, Mason Gooding, uh, Nev Campbell, hopefully, Courtney Cox, hopefully as well. The other cast members we can expect, hopefully, based off of the stuff that Radio Silence has now revealed and based off of the Easter egg and Screen 5 would include Hayden Panettiere. You know, for those of you who want to see Stu Mocker back, Matthew Lillard can come back. Just like how Skeet Ulrich came back, Matthew Lillard can return. It's just that Stu does not have to be alive. I don't know why it's so hard for a lot of people to grasp. <laughs> I made a video talking about the uh, fact that Billy Loomis was going to be in Screen 5. And the first thing you get always when you have videos like that is, oh... Uh, Billy's dead. Billy's dead. He was shot in the head. Uh, again, think outside of the box. You have to remember we're making a movie here. The person can stay dead and you can bring them back. So if Matthew Lillard comes back, I'm not against that either. Uh, Sadie Sink is someone I know. I've put out a tweet talking about my cast for Scream 6 and who I would like to appear in the movie. I've mentioned Sadie Sink. And there's so many different avenues they can explore with the next chapter in the Scream saga. I know I've done a video where I've talked about them touching on true crime and the obsession currently with true crime. Not that true crime is a new obsession session but i feel like it's it's very popular more so the popularity of it all i feel like it's being uh paid attention to more so than ever before because of the inter internet and just the constant true crime documentaries that keep coming out 
And the other thing I think I said they should touch on would be conspiracy theories as well. Touch on that in a way. And that could be factored into how you bring Matthew Lillard back. Because we know in Screen 5 there was a brief moment where on Richie's screen you can see that there's a video out there speculating if the real Stumacher actually survives. So maybe that's how we get Matthew Lillard back in Scream 6. He doesn't have to be again alive. He doesn't have to be a hallucination like how Billy was in Scream in Scream 5. But it could just be someone's fantasy that they think of real, real quick or maybe even like i said before i i said we could do this in screen five maybe we have a scene where sydney reflects on life where if none of that stuff had ever happened and she had all of her friends still because she's like the only one left out of that group i believe out of that group that we had at the water found in scream from 1996 sydney's the only one left she could have a little moment where she reminisces or gina just imagines a life where she has where she has billy still where she has uh, where she has uh, Stu Mocker in her life, uh, Tatum, Randy, all of them could come back for a little small fantasy cameo sequence in, in Sidney Prescott's head where she just fantasizes what her life would be like if none of this madness had occurred. That's a nice way to get all of them back together. Something simple, they're all still dead. <laughs> uh, but again, it would be nice to see what they do. I hope they continue this narrative with the Carpenter sisters and just we learn more about, of course, uh sam and tara's mom who they cast as sam and tara's mom will be interested i'm expecting that the film will come out either early 2023 or october 2023 because if they are able to hit that target of filming this summer then they should be fine as far as like another early 2023 release or another early release in the year or if they want to save it for October, then they can do that too. I know we just recently got the announcement of Insidious 5 filming this spring as well. So maybe we have a battle at the box office between Scream 5 and Insidious 5. Or Scream 6 and Insidious 5, rather. Two franchises that have been kind of dormant for a while, but now they're back. And we'll have some fight at the box office the weekend they both come out simultaneously but i know this is very exciting for all of us i know we all have our hopes and wishes of what we want to see in scream six let me know what you want to see down in scream what to see in scream six down in the comment section below who do you want to see cast in the film are you excited that we finally got the announcement about it uh just let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video